So we've been looking at the first commandment and the second commandment. So you shall have no other gods and the correct use of God's name. And today we're going to be looking now at the third commandment, which has to do with the Sabbath day. We're going to be looking today just specifically, what does the Sabbath day mean? We're going to start by seeing what did the Sabbath day mean to the Old Testament believers. We're going to find that in Exodus 20. 8 verse 11. It says, Remember the Sabbath day by keeping it holy. Six days you shall labor and do all your work. But the seventh day is a Sabbath to the Lord your God. On it you shall not do any work, neither you nor your son or daughter, nor your male or female servant, nor your animals, nor any foreigner residing in your towns. For in six days the Lord made the heavens and the earth, the sea, and all that is in them, but he rested on the seventh day. Therefore the Lord blessed the Sabbath day and made it holy. So by permitted, the Old Testament believers, they were told, you work for six days, you work really hard, and on that seventh day, you rest. Because like God created the world in six days, he rested on the seventh day. Um, so they were to then rest on that seventh day of the week. And then we see in Numbers 28, verses 9 to 10. It says, On the Sabbath day, make an offering of two lambs a year old without defect, together with its drink offering and a grain offering of two-tenths of an ephah, of the finest flour mixed with olive oil. This is a burnt offering for every Sabbath, in addition to the regular burnt offering and its drink offering. So the um, Old Testament believers, they gave a lot of offerings um, that we don't see today. Um, but that was their way to worship God. So the Sabbath day meant rest for the bodies and for the souls of the Old Testament believers. Continuing on, we're going to see what does the Sabbath mean to us. We'll look in Colossians 2, verse 16 to 17. It says, Therefore, do not let anybody judge you by what you eat or drink or with regard to a religious festival, a new moon celebration, or Sabbath day. These are a shadow of the things that were to come. The reality, however, is found in Christ. So the Sabbath means to us is that we shouldn't let anybody judge us or look down on us for choosing to go to church on Sundays. Then we're going to continue looking on at Matthew 12, verse 8. For the Son of Man is the Lord of the Sabbath. Um, so we just know that God is the Lord of the Sabbath. He set aside that day of the week for us to rest, um, get rest for our bodies and our souls. And then Matthew 11, verse 28. Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. God wants us to come to him in worship um, and he's going to give us rest um, for all the things that are going on in our lives. When we're at church, we can forget about those things and give them to God. The Sabbath means rest for our souls through Jesus. Um, we might not have the chance to take Sunday off of work, um, but we can put time aside to give to Jesus in church to get rest for our souls. What then does the Sabbath mean today? Today, the Sabbath means rest for the soul. We'll close out in prayer. Gracious Lord, you have given us your word for salvation. May we never neglect to hear and read it. Teach us to regard Sunday worship and other church services as blessed opportunities in which to join with our fellow Christians in hearing your word and in glorifying your name. Grant that your word will always give rest to our souls whenever we hear it or read it. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, as we jump into our worksheet, you can 
quick press pause. I do apologize that the third commandment, I forgot the word day, but that is remember the Sabbath day by keeping it holy. So if you need to, you can pause it to get that written down. Number two says, what were the Old Testament believers not permitted or not allowed to do on the Sabbath day? We're going to look up Exodus chapter 20, verse 10. And that tells us, but on the seventh day is the Sabbath. Um, so we know that on the Sabbath day that they were not allowed to work. Which punishment did God command for one man who worked on the Sabbath? That is short for the book of Numbers. We look up Numbers chapter 15, verse 32 to 36. While the Israelites were in the wilderness, a man was found gathering wood on the Sabbath day. Those who found him gathering wood brought him to Moses and Aaron, and the whole assembly. And they kept him in custody because it was not clear what should be done to him. Then the Lord said to Moses, This man must die. The whole assembly must stone him outside the camp. So the assembly took him outside the camp and stoned him to death as the Lord commanded Moses. So the punishment that this man had is he was stoned to death. All right, and then it's asking, which day of the week was the Old Testament Sabbath? So we think, go into Leviticus 23, verse 3. Oh, yikes. Leviticus 23, verse 3, it says, There are six days when you work. But the seventh day is a Sabbath day rest. Um, so right away I know that it's going to be the seventh day is the day of rest. And the first day of the week is always Sunday. So if I've got Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, the seventh day is actually going to be Saturday. We now go to church, most of us, um, I would say on a Sunday um, but during the Old Testament times, that seventh day was Saturday, and that's when they would have their Sabbath day and their worship time. What did God want the Old Testament believers to do on the Sabbath besides resting? Um, so it says, it's actually in the same exact verse, so Leviticus 23, verse 3. It says, a day of sacred assembly. Um, you are not to do any work. Wherever you live, it is the Sabbath to the Lord. Um, and that is just basically the sacred assembly. The Sabbath is our time to worship God. To which building do they usually go to do this? We will look in Luke 4, verse 16. Which says, he went up to Nazareth where he had been brought up, and on the Sabbath day he went into the synagogue, as was his custom. So the building is the synagogue, and that is similar to a church for us. Um, like we go to church on to worship, they went to the synagogue. Um, as you continue working, I want you to do the rest on your own, looking up those passages. Um, then going on to the back side, um, this one is a little bit different, so we will walk through these together on the back side. So the sacrifice of all those Old Testament lambs also symbolized something. Which great sacrifice did they symbolize? Um, you can look that up in Ephesians 5 verse 2. What has now replaced all those sacrifices of the Old Testament? We can look up Hebrews 9, verse 28. So 
Christ was sacrificed once to take away the sins of many, and he will appear a second time, not to bear sin, but to bring salvation to those who believe in him, or to those who are waiting for him. So we know um, what has now replaced Jesus' sacrifice, replaced all those Old Testament um, sacrifices. So we no longer have to do sacrifices of animals on a Sunday because Jesus came and he sacrificed himself. Before some famous singer is to perform a concert in our town, we hear many announcements that he is coming. Why don't we need those announcements after he's come? So think about if somebody was coming to Milwaukee to sing a concert and there's all these announcements, why would we not need those after the singer had already come? The sacrifices and Sabbath laws of the Old Testament were similar announcements that the Savior would come to perform a great sacrifice for our sins. Why don't we need those sacrifices of animals anymore? We don't need those sacrifices anymore because Jesus already came. If we still perform sacrifices today, what would we be saying about the sacrifice that Jesus made? We'd be saying that Jesus wasn't enough. That we still need more sacrifices, but Jesus was enough. All right, and then the rest you can do on your own. So you've got a good jump start on your sheet. Go ahead and complete those other um, questions on your own, and then you're all set.